Hello friends, welcome to my this video tutorial of trough analysis and design. In this video, you will learn how to design and analyze a trough with an angle as a material. You can see here a roof layout. You can see this is the trough layout, and I have a open area here which is clear 14 feet by 18 feet 9 inch, and I have a trough system here. I have only one peak point here and it has slope in four sides so I have slope this direction this direction this direction and this direction so this is my peak point of this truss and you can see here this is my layout this is truss one and I have four truss diagonal at four corner and also another two truss which is truss three in the other two sides so my this truss one elevation is here you can see this is my truss one elevation so there will be a complete truss here and this is my truss 2 elevation which is the diagonal truss so all these four truss this one this one this one and this one will be rest on this truss and i have a plate here to rest this four truss here and also i have another two truss which is truss 3 you can see here this is a elevation of truss 3 this two truss also will rest on this plate and will be connected with this truss so actually all this half truss is this is this is will be connected uh, uh, by well with this member so this is the vertical member of the middle of this truss this main truss so this is truss one is my main truss here and i have slope in four side so in this video i will try to show you how to analyze this truss and probably i have huge amount of concentrated load here in this point because all this one two three four five six half truss will be resting on this point and there will be a plate welded right this corner to rest all these other half trusses here so i have to calculate load of this half truss then that will be applied here at this point as a concentrated load and other wind load will be applied to this truss and as well as the dead and live load will be applied to this truss so first i'm opening my start pro software and i'm going to show you this by start pro software this is my start pro software and new project and i am going to do a two-dimensional model not three-dimensional that's why i'm taking this is plan then next yes finish done just close this one mm, right here zero then click at the out zero then click here and you can see a dot has been drawn here which is a node take this node cursor from here select this one and go to the drawing and see the dimension of this truss which is almost uh, 15 feet 8 inch uh, we can consider this is as uh, 16 feet so if i consider this as 16 feet so here i have to calculate the length here say 6 uh, 15.66 divided by 3.28 have 4.77 so select this taking this node cursor then from your keyboard press control then c then again control then press b and it will ask you to show the direction i want to draw this along x direction here and i have this 4.77 so this should be 4.77 then okay you can see another node has been drawn now take this beam cursor add beam pick this point and this point the beam will be drawn select this one and go to here insert node and click this add midpoint then okay you can see a midpoint has been added okay now go to the for, uh, drawing here and you can see i have a height of this touch two feet so this is point six meter so again take this node cursor select this node and go to here this transitional repeat and check this i have to go to along y this is y direction and the default spacing should be 0 0.6 then say check link step then okay done now again take add beam cursor click this point and this point okay now if we go to drawing i have another member at the middle of this half portion so i have just, just 
divided this to half this uh, trust length now i have to divide this one select this again go to here insert node admit point okay now take this node cursor select this one again go to here, here transitional repeat the same way select this one and say this is 0.6 just link i'm just uh, doing this uh, with the tricks here okay done now select this member and this member i have just inserted this as a little bit higher as it this member crosses this member now select this two go to here geometry and intersect selected member then intersect press ok and ok done now just select this upper portion and press delete ok done and i have another member diagonal here taking this add beam draw this and this okay done now you can either delete okay yes select then press control deselect this one now going to here you can see this is create generate mirror now click on this arrow here now click i want to mirror this along this point and now it will go along y z direction so this is the by default selected just press ok done now i have to define some member so i will assume some member and i am going to use some angular member here for my for this stuff so i have to go to here to define i have to go to general then you can see here properties box from here click here section database okay now i'm just picking some angle size from this chinese code then angle d2 uh, you can use from any other code it is not a problem the shape does not factor but to understand because here is a value which is l2525 3 means it is 25 inch by 25 inch angle with 3 mm thickness but all other member may not be shown in this way this is very easy to understand that's why i'm just selecting this Chinese shape of angle it it is not a factor and it will not affect your design parameter you can select any other this is for design purpose but you will show the exact way available in your market here in this drawing okay done now just i am selecting some 50 50 4 mm so 53 go a little bit lower so 50 54 is not available 50 53 yes this is 50 54 then add uh, also i am picking another one we'll see say 50 53 add close okay now just select this one 50 54 select top and bottom chord I'm holding down the control key this way and make sure here is assigned to selected beam is checked now assign yes select this one which is 53 select all other member by pressing control yeah this one this one this one again make sure it uh, assigned to selected beams is checked now assign okay now from here go to the support and here create i need one pin support add and i need another roller support so there is no uh, roller support directly so i have to define one by myself going to here fix but and check all this parameter except this fy because in roller we have only reaction along uh, vertical direction so this is fy now add okay done now select this support two which is pin support and select this a corner or this corner and now check uh, here assign to selected nodes and click assign yes now select this support select the other corner taking this node cursor now assign yes done if i go to here in 3d render view i can see here the truss has been drawn this way okay now i have to go to here you can see specs here and under this beam click here this beam now from here 
select trust add and select this member trusses and i have all this member should be designed as trust so that's why member trust click here assign to view so that member trust will be assigned for all this member then assign okay so these member are defined as trust so that it will take only attention and compression there will be no moment induced in this members okay my member definition is done now i have to assign for load okay now go to here load distribution load case detail select this one then add here this is my number one i want to define this way dead load then live load ll add and i have win load in both direction we should be say win left win right so i will define win l add win r add so you can define as win x or win x positive win x negative and any other way uh, you understand okay now select this dead load and i have to assign load dead load should be vertical direction downward and live load also should be vertical direction downward and my win left and right will be in local y direction here so i will show you step by step how to assign that load so first go to here in plan i have this trust so if i take the maximum tributer width for this trust this should be here half of this 20 feet 5 inch so i have maximum 20 feet 5 inch or uh, here uh, it's better you can take the center to center distance from where this is my center and this is also my center this is so 19 feet almost 19 feet 4 inch half of this width is the tributary width for this trust this is my main trust okay so my width should be say 10 feet and my load is here if I calculate here I have okay there is also another description the roof I, I need to know the dead load and to know the dead load you have to know the material you to be used in the roof so here if I use the roof sheeting so there will be a one kind of load if I use glass panel there will be another kind of load if tile then the load will be different so as per your roofing material you have to know or you have to calculate the dead load and for this type of structure as per your code uh, in my case it is 12.5 psa minimum which should be as live load and dead load should be as per the material of the roof so here i have a 8 mm glass on this roof 8 or 10 mm actually mm, this may be 10 mm so 10 mm glass so i have to calculate the load and that is approximately 5.5 psa so 5.5 psa into 10 feet so this should be 55 plf and for live load i have 12.5 live load 10.5 psa with 10 feet tributary width this should be 125 plf so if i go to here i have to save this model yes save as I'm just saving this in my desktop. Trust model. Save. Okay, done. Now I have to go to here. Add. Select this dead load first from this load list. Dead load. Add. And from here I have to assign, define member load. So this is my member load W, which is in unit kilo newton per meter so i can change the, uh, this is my uh, elf load elf load so if i want to change this to be kilo newton per meter i can do by going to here i can change this to i have to change this psf to kilo newton per meter square which should be divided by 20 we know one kilo newton per meter square equal to 20 psf then i have to again divide i have in multiplied that with 10 feet this should be divided by 3.28 to make it meter now done this is my point 8384 this should be now kilo newton per meter same way i have to change this one i have to divide this by 20 to convert this 
12.5 psf into kilonewton per meter square then again divide by 3.28 to change the 10 feet into meter done so i have 0.83 kilonewton per meter and dead load and 1.905 kilonewton per meter live load so go to here define this press minus first then 0.83 so 0 0.83 uh, this should be along the gy which is the global y direction then add now here 1.93 so 5 this is also global y add close oh sorry this should be deleted i have to go to here live load then add member load right minus 1.95 global y add close okay so i have uh, defined this two load here now i have to select first select this dead load select this top chord and assign to selected beam assign yes again select this live load select all this top chord assign to selected beam check here assign yes okay so i have already assigned dead and live load so i'm ending this video here in the next video i will show you how to assign win and win load and then how to do analyze and then how to finalize the size so thanks for watching my this video see you in in the next video